So this week we've done some great calculation with multiplication and we found lots of different methods and made lots of different connections and we're going to start this video by recapping on some of those things but then we're going to explore one of my favourite little patterns to investigate in, in multiplication and, and looking at when the product, the answer to multiplications is larger and when it's slightly smaller, when, when the calculation done is kind of similar. Um, so I wonder if you'll spot those patterns. Um, now the investigation that you're going to finish with is one that I've written for the very first time. Um, so I'd love to see what you and hear about what, what you think of it. Uh, let's get started. Let's start off in my very favourite place, which is sharing some of the examples that have come through. And um, so Theo is going to kick us off today. Love this Theo. Um, now Theo, you might have to tell me if I've described this incorrectly, but I think what Theo's noticed is that 10 times 4 is 40. Another 10 times 4 is 40, and in total, that's 20 lots of 4, it's 80. So, great job, Theo. Love to see how you've, uh, how you've done that. Um, and then Sarah as well. Uh, again, it was brilliant getting this through. Sarah, another of our year threes. Um, so, she's found different ways of splitting up nine sixes. She's gone for three sixes and six sixes here. And then, can you see, um, to make two identical rectangles, she's split down here, and we've got 3 times 9 twice, and then she's added that to get 54 again, of course. And then we have these other examples, so split this shape to make three identical rectangles, so 2 times 9, and 3 lots of that, which of course is in total is 6 times 9. And then we've even got the extend task, 14 times 9, where, for example, she split that down into 9 7s doubled, 4 9s and, and, uh, and 10 9s. Um, so again, oh, wonderful seeing all those different ways, and well done. Thank you so much for sharing. Now, not quite so well done was me yesterday. Um, now, Gethin managed to spot the little mistake that, that, that was in here. Uh, did anyone else? Or, or can you see it now? Have a look. Can you see the mistake that I made? Well, I was right when I said that five sixes are 30 and that the nine can be split into a five and a four, but four sixes, that's not 30. Uh, well, well done if you did spot. I'll keep working on that. I wonder if there'll be any mistakes today. Um, well, have a look at this one. Uh, 12 multiplied by 8. And yesterday we were looking at how we could split up area models um, to find an easy way to calculate the answer. So again, for 12 multiplied by 8, what I want you to do is think, how could I break down either the 12 or the 8? Now, you might do the, be able to do the calculations as well, or maybe not, but how could you break down either the 12 or the 8 to, to do that calculation? Pause the video. Can you see any different ways that that could be done? Well, I wonder how you broke that down. Uh, let me show you um, the few possibilities that I came up with. So I thought I could split the 12 up into 10 and 2. That, that's the most common thing that we do when we multiply. Um, so 10 add 2 is 12. Uh, 10 lots of 8 is 80. 2 lots of 8 is 16. Uh, add that together is 96. Um, or equally, I guess it could be, you could split the 12 into 6 and 6. 6, 8 to 48. Do that twice, 48 add 48, 96. There was one other way that I quite liked as well, um, which was actually splitting up the eight. Splitting up the eight into a five and a three. So 12 times five, 60. 12 times three, 36. In total, 96. Well, today we've got a, a little investigation we're gonna start with. We'll, we'll start today, we'll continue on Monday. I love it, it's called Largest product. So the product is the answer when two numbers are multiplied together. So we're looking for the largest product today. Now, we're going to start with this little investigation. I want you either to try the example on the left or to try the example on the right. Um, so you're either going to choose two numbers that add to make 10 or you're going to choose two numbers that add to make 16. OK, and I want you to think of different possible numbers that it could be. So if you're thinking of two numbers that add to make 10, maybe come up with one combination of two numbers and then come up with another and maybe another one. And again, if you're adding to make 16, th think of different combinations of numbers that add to make your number. Do so pause the video and have a go at that. OK, so I hope you've got maybe three, even even four combinations written down. If you haven't, pause the video and do that. If you have, you're, you're ready to keep going. Um, now, the examples that I'm going to provide could be, it could be that you've written down 9 and 1, or 5 and 5, or 7 and 3 for numbers that add to make 10. 
Or um, to make 16, 12 and 4, 8 and 8, 10 and 6 are possibilities. Now, what I want you to do next is, is this. Um, I want you to pause the video and whatever the numbers are that you have, I want you to multiply them together. And what do you notice? So for my one of my examples on two numbers that add to make 10, I would multiply 7 and 3. But I want you to multiply all your pairs of numbers. And what do you notice? Okay, I hope you've had the chance to do that. Um, but let, let's have a little look. Um, so it would seem to make sense that if numbers add to make 10, that they would all multiply to give the same answer. Um, but actually, when we look at them, they're very, very different. So 9 multiplied by 1 is 9. 5 times 5 is 25. 7 times 3, 21. It's the same here. 12 times 4 is 48. But 8, 8 is 64. 10, 6 is 60. Hmm. Now, what do you notice? Which combinations tend to have the, the larger product? Is there anything that you notice there? Pause the video and have a think and see what you can see or explain. Hmm. Well, I'm looking at what, what do we have in common, the ones with the, with the larger products? 5 times 5 is 25. That's more than 7 times 3, and it's much more than 9 times 1. And over here, 8, 8 is 64, but 12, 4 is 48. Now, the thing that I notice is when the numbers are closer together, they have a larger product. So 5 and 5 is the same, and it's 25. And then 7 and 3, the numbers are getting a bit further apart, and the product's getting smaller. And then 9 times 1, the product's only 9. And, and it's the same with these examples here. I wonder why that is. Now, have a look at these examples here. And it says for each pair, which calculation has the larger product? Now, what I want you to do is see if you can work that out, even if you don't know what the answers are. So I don't want you to work out the answer. I just want you to have a look at the numbers and think, which one do you think will have the larger product and why? And can you do that without working out the answers to the questions? It's an odd thing to be asked, isn't it? Pause the video and, and have a think. And, and how can you tell? OK, well, let's, let's have a look at them. So we've got 9 multiplied by 4 and 5 multiplied by 9. Well, what's the same? Both number sentences have a 9, but here there's 4 lots of 9 and here there's 5 lots of 9. So, uh, so 5 lots of 9 is going to be more. Let's see. Yeah, 45 rather than 36, so it's 9 more. Um, now, let's have a look at the next one. So 16 times 14, oh, I'm not sure I know that off the top of my head, and 20 times 10. Well, 16 add 14 is 30. 20 add 10 is 30, but 16 times 14, those numbers are closer together than 20 times 10. Now let's have a look at the products. Yes, yeah, 16 times 14 is 224, and that's more than 20 times 10. And then this last one, 6 8s and 7 7s, well 6 add 8 is 14, 7 add 7 is 14, but what about 6 times 8 and 7 times 7, which is going to be more? Well actually, 7 times 7 is just one more. Um, and because 7 and 7 are, are identical, whereas 6 and 8, the 6 is getting one less, the 8 is getting one more. And when numbers get further apart, the product gets slightly smaller. So everyone, here are today's tasks. If you click on the blue link underneath the video, you'll find this file. Um, and there's three tasks for you to choose. You might have a go at a couple of them. It's entirely up to you. Um, investigation A. I think of two numbers. When I add my numbers together, I get 8. When I multiply my numbers, I get more than 14. So what could those two numbers be? Is there only one possible answer? Are there, is there more than one possible answer? I, I wonder how many there are or that you can find. Um, again, investigation B, I think of two numbers. When I add my numbers together, I get 12 this time. When I multiply my numbers, I get less than 30. So what could my numbers be? Again, what are the different possibilities there? There's investigation C as well. The answers are at the bottom. Maybe you'll have a go at writing your own investigation and send it through. We could do that in the future. I'd uh, love to see how you get on. Again, I'm really looking forward to seeing how you do on this one. It's the first time I've ever written this, so you'll be the first children ever to do it. Uh, good luck. And again, I will really, really look forward to seeing you next week.
I just wanted to, for you to be able to see me so I can finish by saying my personal thanks for everything that you've done, for all the people that you've involved. I know I've seen people having Zoom calls with their friends when the videos have been going on so they can talk, which is amazing, involving grandparents, sending your work through and everything. I'm going to go off and dream up some more activities for next week and I'm really looking forward to seeing you again then.